All right, what we got today is how to use a Power Mister, kind of a weird name, uh, solar charge controller. It's pretty inexpensive on Amazon. It just looks like a, a piece of CNC machine uh, metal um, with some electronics inside, which is kind of what you get, right? And the real deal that I wanted to know was, how do you get this to charge lithium ion batteries? Because I've got a pair of two kilowatt batteries. This is a, a 16 in series. I've got it hooked up as 15 in series and how to get this configured. And it's actually pretty simple. I had to get the manual here before I could figure out what to do. But this is just after it booted up. So if I hit the program button, we got this, which is apparently how many hours a day that it runs. Um, this we're gonna ignore for lithium ion, D01. D02, this number is gonna be your maximum voltage number when you're set to lithium ion charging. Now, how does it determine that? This has auto detection to determine whether this is a 12, 24, 36 or 48 volt system. So my guess is that if it's anywhere above like 44 volts or something, it's gonna assume that this is a 48 volt system, which would be, this would be times four. So 15.3 times four would be like 61 volts. So that's what I've got my lithium ion batteries set to for a 15S, which is like 4.1 volts per cell. Now you've got D03, we're gonna ignore that one, D04. This has to be set to one to get your lithium ion charging, which is the constant current, constant voltage charging that you want for lithium ion. Now, something I noticed is that if we go back out of here and we look at its charging, right? It's getting 1,033 watts. That's the max that these panels are getting right now. Now, if I go into the program and I go change this to be lower. So let's say I only want 13.8, enter, escape, go back up to the battery. So we're charging at 15, 55 and a half volts. 55.2 is where it should have stopped, but it is still charging. So guess what we have to do? We have to reset this guy. It doesn't just automatically take the settings. So let's, let's turn him off and back on again. You're supposed to do this Leave the battery connected the longest. We're going to disconnect the solar here first. So we've got no solar now. Now I'm going to turn my cutoff switch for the battery, and that'll turn everything off. All right, now everything is turned off. Now I'm going to turn the battery back on. And then stick my solar back in. So let's go see if the setting's the same. It is, it's down to 13.8 now. Now how much are we charging? We're pushing, see now we're down to 55.3, close to that 55.2, and we're only pushing 5.7 amps. We still got full sun out there on those panels, but much lower amperage. We're at 323 watts instead of that thousand watts. So just make sure when you're changing the settings on here that you reset it after you change the setting. And that's how you use this to charge lithium ion batteries. Now the other thing that's encouraging too is that it is doing the constant voltage, constant current. It did constant voltage right up until it hit that 55.2, 55.3, and then it started bringing that current down. Sorry, constant current until it's hit that 55.2, and then it started bringing that current down so that the voltage would stay the same. Um, anyway, so it seems to be working well. The fan is actually thermostatically controlled. Once you hit over like 600 watts or so, it starts getting a little warm and that fan kicks in. I suppose I can't say it's thermostatic. It could be that when a certain number of amps start going through it that the fan kicks on. But it seems to be working well. Um, I'll keep using it and see what it does. I was pushing 20 amps through this at 1,000 watts going to my uh, uh, 48 volt battery and it seems to be working well. Mm -hmm.